Welcome to Student Support Services Basic Technology Training for Laptop Checkout. One of the services we offer our students is the use of laptops. However, you must take this training to qualify for laptop checkout. If you are unfamiliar with laptops, a hands-on session with a staff member can be arranged. To check out a laptop, you must be an active student in the Student Support Services program and you must have a current semester plan. If you're a new participant in the SSS program, you must have completed an initial semester plan, you must attend a basic technology training, which is what you're doing now, and you must have met with your counselor at least twice. When you are ready for a laptop, Speak to a staff member of Student Support Services to see if a computer is available for checkout. If a computer is available and you are eligible as explained previously, you will be able to check the laptop out. If a laptop is not available, you will be placed on a waiting list. It is very important that you remember that the laptops may be checked out for two week periods. They must be returned by the due date. For this reason, it is impossible to use the Student Support Services laptops for online classes. Laptops may be rechecked out for an additional two weeks if they are available, meaning that no one is on the waiting list. However, laptops cannot be rechecked out via telephone. Now, let's talk about how to get started. To log on to the machine, press Control, Alt, and Delete and a screen requesting the username and the password will appear. The username is user, U-S-E-R, in all lowercase letters, and the password is laptops, that's L-A-P-T-O-P-S, in all lowercase letters. All laptops come complete with Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Internet Explorer. One-on-one -on -one training in any of these programs can be arranged if you're not familiar with them. You will not be allowed to install any software on the laptop. If you are not accustomed to using a laptop, the first thing you'll want to know is where's the mouse? Laptops feature a touchpad which takes the place of a mouse. Moving your finger around the pad moves the cursor and tapping your finger on the touchpad creates a click. There are buttons below the touchpad that you can also click. A regular mouse, which can be plugged into the computer, is also included in the laptop bag. Each laptop has two to four USB ports, which you can use to plug in a mouse, a flash drive, or other hardware. The computer will log on to the Wi-Fi on campus automatically. Some establishments such as McDonald's and Starbucks have Wi-Fi for their customers' use. You may be able to connect at other places as a guest. You will not be able to connect to the Internet via dial-up. If you are unable to connect to the Internet, first turn the computer off and then back on. If this doesn't work, look at the status bar, which is where the time is. If there's a red X on the Internet icon, which is two small computers, Click this icon and allow it. Required software for classes must be installed by SSS staff member Betty Jean. Simply bring the software and the laptop to the Student Success Center. The software can usually be installed on the same day. You will not be able to save any documents on the laptops. Therefore, we encourage you to purchase a flash drive, which is also known as a jump, travel, or key drive. These devices, which can be purchased at any discount store or the campus bookstore, will allow you to take the files with you to any computer. If you save a document on the laptop, the document may be lost once the machine is rebooted or shut down. While using equipment supplied by Student Support Services, refrain from eating, drinking, or smoking. Also, do not allow small children or pets around the equipment. Please do not tamper with the computer. Please make sure you return the laptop and all accessories on time and in the condition which they were given to you. If not, you may lose the privilege of checking out equipment. First, save all your documents on a flash drive and remove all disks. 
Shut the computer down. Make sure the battery is fully charged. Clean the surface area of the laptop with the moist pads that are provided for you. If there is a problem with the computer, please let us know. Don't bring the laptop back broken. Please be sure to return everything that came with the computer on time as scheduled. If the equipment is not returned on the due date, a reminder email will be sent to the student and his or her counselor. If the laptop is still not returned in a timely manner, the student's counselor will attempt to contact the student. Privileges will be revoked for two weeks or for the remainder of the semester if the student still does not return the equipment within the requested time. Final measures will be determined by Student Support Services Director. Please refer any questions to a Student Support Services staff member. Visit www.ptc dot edu slash s s s t e s t to print out the confirmation page if you would like to check out a laptop. Additional computer training in D2L and Pathways is available. Go to the Information Commons area for details and schedules.